Go, baby girl. Let's go, Shannon. It's all right. Let's go, baby doll. down because of that call. You know what, are you even watching the same game? Play ball. Play ball? Oh, okay, how about you learn how to ump? How about that? And then maybe we'll play some ball. It's not that big of a deal, it's just a game. Just go over and sit with your wife. Go on over and sit down. Don't walk away from me when I'm talking to you, man. You know I'm right. Everybody here knows I'm right. Say hey, what, you got something to say? Come over here and say it. Because we can settle this right now. Oh, we're done. We're done. Hey, 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 Bo. Don't do this, Bo. Don't do this. Come on, man. No. I just wanted to watch my girl play. I'm going to have to take you in, Bo. I know. But right now, all you're, man, you're embarrassing Shannon. Don't do this. I just want to watch my girl play. You're embarrassing Casey as well. And pretty much embarrassment to his hotel. I have to take you in. Come on, man. Give me your hands. Give me your hands. Come on. I wasn't gonna do anything, man. It just, it just pisses me off that he can't make a good... stop, stop. Just stop. Look, whether you would have done anything or not, just stop. It wouldn't have been a fair fight for you anyway. Not with you. You to take that home, knock the cloud on his back. I always looked for God, but I found the devil in every place I went, and all the 
time I spent, I always looked for God. But I found the bottle to make my great escape and turn and walk away. Father looked for God, but he found the bottle. I watched the castle fall. I tried to catch it all. My father looked for God, but he found the devil. He made his great escape. He turned. What? These are overdue. We missed this one last week. They're gonna shut off our water. Uh, what do you want me to do here? I mean, oh, do we have money to move? What do you want me to do? You know what? I just got home, Casey. What do you want from me? I'll tell you what, you figure it out, because I don't know. You figure it out, are you kidding? <laughs> Get out of here! Go! No, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. Hey, buddy, come here. Come here. Are you okay? You okay? Yeah? It's okay. You all right? All right. It was a little scary, wasn't it? Yeah. It's okay. We don't like Daddy very much, do we? Oh, buddy. We do. We love Daddy. He just... I'm having a bad day, a little bit of a rough time, okay? But you still love him? Okay, you all right? What's up, buddy? How's it going, man? Good to see you, buddy. Hey, hey what's going on? How you boys? doing? I've been better, man. That's what I've heard. I've heard you've had a rough few weeks here lately. <sighs> yeah, you could say that. Well, Just picking up a little something for the road. That'll be the trick. Looks like this is going to do it for you. Yeah, let's let's open it does. So, what's going on? Casey's been all over my back ever since I got out, so. Oh man. I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, you're welcome here anytime. You come see us, all right? Yeah. Why don't you uh, come on over and we'll grab some drinks tomorrow when I get off. Yeah, that sounds good, man. Right. What's the damage here? Thirty-two ninety-five, buddy. Uh, let's see here. I'm uh, I'm a little short. Uh, uh oh. Here. You, get, you spot me? Yeah, I got you. Are you sure? Yeah, don't worry. About All right. All right, boys. I appreciate it. All right. Well, good hey. to see you. Good seeing you guys again. Right, yeah. You come but back anytime. Some stress. Hey, All right. All right. Catch you guys later. Don't seconds to glory here, folks. Lawson's really punishing him. Lewis is barely standing. 
Small towns, they talk a lot. Now, I heard you just got back this morning. I'm just coming to check on you. Hey, you can't have this stuff in here. Certainly not in my gym. Yeah, that's my bad, Sal. Yeah, you're bad. You don't need that junk anyhow. Not now. Not after just getting home again, Bo. We good? Can I get back to this? Yeah. But you might want to work on that swing. Looking a bit sloppy. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess we can't all be perfect. Like your boy Dylan. It's not about being perfect, Bo. It's about figuring out what matters most to you. What's really worth all this to you? Come on. Listen, I'll tell you what, once you come back tomorrow, let's have a chat. And leave that with me. Uh, let's take another caller. You're on Sports Talk 900 AM. What do you got for us? Yeah, thank you. Now, we got these two hometown kids, Lawson and Wright. One of them's going to make it. I, I can just feel it. But uh, who do you think it's going to be? Well, so that's, a, that's a great question. It seems to be on everyone's mind. Everybody's asking that question. The, the, after the last Golden Gloves <laughs> championship, Lawson's current skill set seems to point to the highest ceiling. But the kid comes from a pretty rough background. My bet's on Wright. Right. Daddy! Daddy! Hey, champ. Where's mommy? I don't know.
Come on, Casey. This is way too early to be doing all this. What are you doing with all your stuff? Casey, why are you packing? Oh, don't. Really? I mean, how many times are you gonna do this? Huh? Mate, you just gotta threaten to leave every time we get in an argument. I mean, we both know you're not going anywhere, right? Because you need me. So quit playing these games because we're gonna get through this just like we always do. You gotta give me some time to think, okay? I mean, you know I'm gonna figure all this out. I always do. I mean, at least can I have one cup of coffee first before I start dealing with all your crap? Hey, that Bill, I'll tell you what, I'll call work. I bet they can get me in this weekend for some extra hours. And that should take care of all this nonsense. Are you not listening to anything I just said? Yeah, I hear you. It's the same thing with you every single time. You won't figure it out. You can't. Not this time. You're not, you're being ridiculous. I mean, why are you being so dramatic? Dramatic. Just stop with the packing. Let's put it back in the drawers. Come here, come here. I'm sorry, okay? But come on, baby, you know we can get, get through, through anything. anything. Wow. Yeah. That's real mature, Casey. That's real mature. Oh, I am leaving. No, you're not going Yeah, anywhere. I am. You're out of your mind if you think this family can pick you up every time you fall. I love you. But I can't keep doing this. I can't. Casey. Oh, no. <laughs> you know, this is just like that time in Kent. She made all these big promises, said we'd finally pay off the car. And then what happened? They repoed our car. They repoed our car. They took, they took me and our children. You weren't there, but they pulled our children out of that car. Now, where were you? You were out at the bar, drunk as your daddy doing God knows what with God knows who. You know, there have been so many times like that. But do you remember when, do you remember when Shannon found you passed out on the porch? Blood everywhere from you bashing that dumb brain of yours in on the patio. And she came running in screaming, Daddy's dead, Daddy's dead. Do you have any idea how my heart stopped at that moment? Do you have any idea how my heart stopped? I thought, this is it. He's finally over it. He's gonna end up hauled up in a horse like his daddy was a few years ago. Casey, 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 Casey. Look, I'm sorry, okay? You're right. Okay, is that what you wanna hear? You're right about all that. Don't leave, don't do this, please. Listen, last night at the gym, I had a really good talk with Sal. He kind of put me in my place a little bit, but he also had some really good things to say to me too. He really wants to help out. Mentioned that maybe I can come in there and start training with him again, and I don't know, maybe I can talk to him about all the stuff I got going on in my head, Casey. I think it'll be good for me. You know, I, I know I can quit drinking. <laughs> just, just please, just stay. Please, Casey. 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 You know what? This is insane! And there he, there he is again. You know what? Your home, it's with me and the kids. Lucky me. This right here, this is your home, oh, Casey. Okay. You're not leaving. In my face. You need 
to just stay right here, okay? And we'll figure this out together. You gotta stay. No. Look. I hope so can help you. I hope something can help you. Because this, this stuff, it is killing me and it is killing you. And I hope you find the help you need, but I'm done. No, okay. No, I'm done. Casey. Awful dapper today there, Bo. Yeah, well, I must look a lot better than what I feel right now. <sighs> Casey left me last night. I just, I don't know what to do. You know, I tried talking to her and I told her why she needed to stay, but man, she was not hearing me at all. And she had her mind made up. I mean, it, her bags were packed by the time I even woke up. So, I mean, what am I gonna say to her? It definitely wasn't any, you know, talking any sense into that woman, that's for sure. I realize I've made mistakes. Thank God, guys. I've made a lot of mistakes in my life, but man, she didn't have to throw that up in my face every single time we get in an argument. I mean, that gets old. And then she goes off on me and takes the kids and she leaves. What am I supposed to do? You know what? If that's how she feels she can go. I don't need her. Now, I was fine before I met Casey, and I'll be fine long after she leaves, too. I guarantee you that. <laughs> don't feel sorry for me. Now, this is a good thing. Because I don't have to follow her rules anymore. You know, I can do what I want when I want. Right? <laughs> I mean, I don't have to get her permission to do anything anymore. I don't have to answer to her. If I want to go out to guys, I'll do that anytime I want to. Come home anytime I want to. Because God forbid, you know, I ever came home late around her. Or maybe had one too many. <laughs> Not now. I don't have to worry about it now because I don't have to hear that woman's smart mouth. Yeah. This is going to be good. Man, I'm going to have a lot more time to come in here and hang out with you guys. You know, I can start training again. Start looking good and feeling good. Because I'm sure there's some woman out there that will want me. Because clearly Casey doesn't. Because she just left the store! Why'd she leave me, man? God. Does she not love me? Come here. God, Sal, why can't she just give me another chance? We're gonna get through this. Listen, what well, if you just give her some time? And we'll circle back. Oh, no, she's done, man. What do you not understand about this? She's not, she's not coming back, she's done. I've known that woman for a long time, for 15 years. And there was something different about the way she said it this time. I mean, she's threatened it a lot over the years, but not like this. <laughs> she's not coming back, man. I'll tell you what. Why don't you have a seat? When I... Have a seat. Come on. When I, uh, asked you to come in to talk the other day, Believe it or not, it wasn't about trying to fix your marriage. 
want to talk to you about this. Dylan Wright, he's hosting a charity event. You know, to give back to the community and all. So he, he just shot me an email to drop a line, say hello after all these years. You're not going to believe this. He's wondering if you'd be interested in fighting him. If you're still into that kind of thing. Well, you know, I'm 34 years old, man. I'm 18. There's no way I'm doing that. Ah, he wants to fight his old high school rival. And he's looking to give back for all that this town's given him over the years. Oh, <laughs> that's pretty big of him. Look, Bo, this fight, this whole thing, it could be good for you. You know, it, it looks to me like you could use a distraction or two now, right? You know, something to work towards. Something to get your mind off all this mess. Look here. My dad, he ran this here gym for a lot of years. And my granddad before him. And when I took over, you and Dylan were two of the first boxers I ever trained. And to this day, two of the most promising fighters that ever stepped foot in here. Bo, I can train you. It could be like old times. We can get you there. It's gonna take some work. But we can get you where you need to be. But we did it like that Thought I knew everything Didn't know myself Thought that you could help Didn't know what to do Didn't do it well Trying to kill this space Trying to feel the empty And put me in his place You see it on my face I'm trying hard, but there's only so much we can take I guess it took breaking to know Two broken heads don't make a hole I guess it took breaking to know Two broken heads don't make a hole I didn't, I didn't have a choice anymore. I mean, what was I supposed to do, right? Case, I don't think anyone in this entire town would blame you for leaving him. I mean, you just, you can't beat yourself up over this. Hey, buddy. Here, no, 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 let me help you, okay? What's up? Mommy, I'm hungry. Do you have a snack? Oh, uh, I don't know about it. Hang on. No, I don't. Uh... Here, have a granola on me, buddy. Thank you. So thank you. I mean, look at, look at him. <laughs> Every time I look at him, it's actually, it's physically painful. Because all I see is Bo. But I had to do it, right? Like, I had to do it for him and for Shannon and for me. I even had to do it for Bo. <laughs> uh, I feel like, I feel like I'm failing in every aspect. I feel like I'm failing as a, as a mother. I couldn't even remember a snack for me to say. I was failing my family. And then, and the worst part is, I'm sitting here and I'm just, I'm angry. I'm mad because, I'm mad because all I'm thinking is, is he okay? What is he doing? Is he, is he all right? And I, 
Why am I worrying about him right now? I'm sorry. You don't need to be sorry, Casey. You don't need to be sorry. You're doing the right thing. You just gotta dig deep this time. Girl, how many times has he done this? The I'm home and then I'm gone. I'm arrested and then I'm suddenly sober? I, I mean, that's exhausting. You yeah. deserve that. I am tired. I'm so tired. Yes. <laughs> You're doing the right thing, okay? You hear me? I hear you, I hear you. You're doing the right thing and you're gonna be okay. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I got some books to take home, okay? Yeah. yeah. Unbelievable. Huh. Oh, hey, I gotta go. I'll call you back. Bye. Hey, girl. Hey. You doing okay? Mm, not really. I almost called him last week. Did you? No. But I wanted to. Like, really, really badly. I just... Oh, I don't know how to do life without Bo in it. He's all I know. No. He's not all you know. This crap that he keeps putting you through is all that you know. Remember that. You've got to. Just part of me keeps wondering if that guy is still in there. The one that we all knew growing up. Yeah. People change, I guess. That bow, he ain't here no more. But that bow? He was a fighter. He knew what mattered and how to keep his head up. Ugh. Case, you need a break. <laughs> Seriously, when's the last time that you've slept? <laughs> you need to rest and clear your mind, girl. <sighs> I don't know, I'm just, I'm just trying to make sure the kids are taken care of. <laughs> yeah. I know. Well, I tell you what, why don't I take Luke and Shannon just for a couple of days? You go to your mama's, take some time, get sleep. You've earned it. Yeah. What's the matter, Bo? Hit you back this time? <laughs> you know what? Give me a towel and a water. I don't want to hear anything from you, Duke, unless you can come over and do what I'm doing. You're here awful late. Thought you had to get up with the roosters. Nope. Well, yeah, I did. Went into work the other day. They ended up laying off all the new guys, so. Well, you know, that's good old Bo. Hell, I mean, what am I doing with my life? You know, Casey leaves and she takes the kids. Now I can't even keep a job. 
<laughs> Tell you what, you know any good country artists? Feel free to give them my life story because uh, it'll be their next big country song. Well, if your truck don't start when you go home, you might be on to something. <laughs> I needed her, man. I never really showed her that I did, but I did. Didn't even give her really any choice but to leave me, right? And if there is a God out there, or up there, whatever, I have a feeling that uh, he's having a pretty good laugh at me fumbling around my life right about now. You're wrong right there. I don't think God laughs when we hurt Bob. You know, the thing is, I thought I could keep a job this time. You know, pay the bills and... What's the use of even trying anymore, man? I can't ever win. I'm just constantly being knocked down. It's not just about winning. If you think it's all about winning, you got the wrong idea in life. It's about taking the right steps and doing the right thing. And Bo Lawson, that's what you're doing. Life's always gonna have this come at you hard stuff. Come at you hard, then dodge and weave and come back at you. It's not about that. It's about not giving up on the fight. Not ever. Now listen, your boy Dylan Wright came in this morning. Look, man, I don't wanna now, talk about this. Now hear me out. He wants to fight you. And he's up the ante this time. 5K for you to fight him. $5,000. All right. Is that up front or do I have to win? Up front? All you got to do is show up and remind this town who Bo Lawson really is. I don't know, man. <laughs> what do you mean you don't know about it? This is your opportunity to get back on your feet. Besides, 5K? It's five months rent. How can you turn that down? All right. Okay, I'll do it. I mean, it's not like I got a job to get back to, right? What else do I got to lose? That's what I'm talking about. You go home, you rest up, because we got a big day tomorrow. <laughs> yes. Take this serious, Bo. Come on, let's go. We didn't take a break or what? You know, Bo, we are training here. And part of your training is learning about what matters most. Not just keeping off the ropes and bobbing and weaving. Now listen, your two kids are in there. I want you to spend the morning reading to your girl and loving on that boy of yours. They both admire you so much, Bo. So go on, give them something to admire. 
Well, you can read, right? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Well, good. I'll tell you what. Meet you back at the gym at 11.15. Well, you, you got to run all the way back or what? I didn't think you were going to get away that easy now, did you? <laughs> I'll tell you what. Here you go. Have water on me. We'll see you in a bit. So? It was good, man. Actually, it was real good to see him. I needed that, Sal. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Spill the beans. <laughs> Tell us about it. I mean, the kids were fine, man. They, honestly, they seemed perfectly normal. The kids are tough. A lot tougher than I am, that's for sure. Let's take after their mom, huh? <laughs> you know, I've, I've put them through a lot here lately. For whatever reason, they just, I don't know, they just keep a smile on their face. You know, I don't know what it is about my kids, but they're just, you know what it is, it makes them happy, I guess. Ain't that the truth. See, kids got a way of keeping it simple. They don't forget what they love and why they love it. They don't make no fuss or mess of life. It just is what it is to a kid. Yeah. I mean, we had a good time, you know. We read a couple books and, you know, Shannon, man. She was so excited to tell me all about her game. I mean, she ended up hitting a home run. Hmm. Well, in the park home run, but, you know, we'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> Darn right, we'll take it. Hmm. I missed that game. Hmm. It hit me hard. It hit me really hard, so I'm not gonna lie, man. But then Luke, he comes over and he just immediately starts making me laugh. That kid, man, he is something else. He's like a little comedian, man. He told me some really good knock-knock jokes, by the way. He, uh... He's something else, man. He, and he looks a lot like her. Uh, a lot like Casey. You know, when I was in Desert Storm, you remember those years? I remember. I was away from this here town for quite some time. When I left, I worried about a lot of things. Some stuff that mattered and some that didn't. It all faded to the background when I was out there, ready to go to war. The sand, the heat, the guns firing, eardrums ringing, heart just erasing. It's like I got out there and I suddenly couldn't remember why I was even there in the first place. It all came to a head one day when our squad task was to assault a oil well controlled by the Republican Guard. So we were uh, moving into position and we took fire that night. I watched a man I learned to love darn near bleed out in my arms. It occurred to me that uh, next morning as I was showering off the, the dirt and the grime and the blood. Ah, so, so much blood. You see, I had to know what I was fighting for. There was no way I was gonna win that war if I didn't know what I was fighting for. You listening to me, Bo? Yes, of course, Sal. Yeah, I just, honestly, man, I don't know how you did it. Maybe, 
What were you fighting for? Look, fellas, when life is going well, then things are all right, yeah? But when life gets real, you gotta have faith. And that's what got me through. And I tried hard those times overseas to remember what it was that my grandma and grandpa used to say to me. God is still God, even when there's hurting. And I reminded myself to pray, not to have any bitterness of war or pain, or losing someone or something, get in the way of what really mattered most to me. I had a wife and three kids waiting at home for me, depending on me. I had to dig deep. I had to dig deep getting through those years to remember what I was staying strong for. And not only that, but God, he was bigger than all of it, than all of that. So when you're in the trenches of life, whether it's out there in that boxing ring, or in a battlefield with a gun in your hands and bombs bursting all around you, you gotta know. You gotta know what it is. You gotta know who it is you're fighting for. That's the fight, Bo. That there, that's the fight. Every time I take one step forward, seems like I fall two steps back. Every time I get my wheels moving, feels like they're coming off the tracks. There are times where I'd be lying if I said I did it all right. No regrets, never say die. Gonna give it all in this fight. sound of a battle drum my pain is my survival won't back down from what's to come there are times where i'd be lying if i said i did it all right no regrets never say die gonna give it
is that Bo Lawson? Grocery shopping? What are you doing grocery shopping? How's it going, Tammy Lynn? <laughs> yeah, I know. Casey always did this kind of thing, but mm -hmm. you know, I got to do things for myself now. Well, I heard that you are going to be a part of this really big fight. I mean, this is a big deal, Bo. I heard about Dylan and, you know, you all were really good in high school, but he's taking this to a whole new level, right? Yeah. I mean, he, like, looks huge, shredded, right? And it looks like maybe, maybe you're doing a little bit of training. Yeah. Yeah? Getting a little bit, bulky. yeah. That's awesome. So the whole town is talking about this, Bo. You know that, right? I mean, this... Yeah. This is probably the biggest thing that, that's ever happened around here. <gasps> I mean, you have to be so excited. You know, yeah, I'm, I'm getting excited. I, maybe not as excited as some people are, but yeah, I'm, I'm getting there. But you know, honestly, it's not even the best part. Okay. I mean, being with Sal and in the gym and all that, that's, that's been great. I mean, I really have loved it. Hold on just a second. I'm not done shopping yet. Oh. <laughs> kind of taken over here. Um, but, and I know this is gonna sound crazy coming from me. Mm-hmm. But the best part is I'm finally learning how to just kind of deal with life. I've been seeing the kids a little more often and I know you know all the stuff that I've been battling over the years. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm finally learning how to fight it, but kind of fight it the right way, you know? I just wish Casey would talk to me. She'd just go drop off the kids, go pick them up. She won't even come outside. She won't say anything to me. Bo, she misses you. She just, I mean, she's still really hurt. I know. I'm sorry, Tammy. I really am sorry. You don't need to say sorry to me. I know. You need I'm... to say sorry to her. I know. I'm sorry. Hey, Bo, how's it going, man? Hey, what's up, Donnie? You hanging in here? Yeah, man. I'm doing all right. How are you? I'm good. It's, I'm good. It's good to see you. Yeah, good seeing you, Can too. I see you tonight? Yeah, you bet, man. Cool. All right, take care. Hmm. You got some big plans tonight? <sighs> you know what? I might as well go ahead and tell you, because as soon as Janice finds out, the whole town's gonna know anyway. That was my sponsor. I've been, uh, <laughs> been doing AA. AA? You? Yeah. I mean, Bo, all through high school, you talked about how it never worked for your daddy or your daddy's daddy. It was just a bunch of losers. You know, I sat around and complained. Yeah, I know. I know what I said, but I mean, that, that was my sponsor, and you know, I'm telling you the truth. I'm doing things different. I mean, here, if you don't believe me, check this out. I worked really hard to get this. And you know, I really want to show Casey that, that I'm trying. Mm-hmm. It's taken me a long time to figure out how much I've screwed up. And I hate that I've done all this to Casey. It's just... Mm -hmm. I've never even known how to be sorry before, much less admit it and say it to her. But now, I think I do. Okay. You know, I've been putting first... Putting first things first, you know. I've been getting my head right, getting my heart right. I'll see you at the fight, okay? Hold on, hold on a minute. Come here. I know you're gonna see Casey later on tonight. Yeah. Can you please just put a good word in for me? Okay. Please. Okay. Hey, could you give her this? <clears throat> please. Okay. Thank you. Hey, Duke. Yes, sir. I'm gonna head out early. You lock up? I got it, boss. Be good. See you tomorrow.
Why don't you learn how to drive? Get buddy. I said get your hands off my truck. Not in my parking lot. We're not going to have this. No. Man, you better teach him how to drive. He just almost Hey, came. I said I didn't see you. Oh, yeah, you didn't see me. Take care of him. I should tell you something. I hope he can box better and he can drive. Bum. Oh, we're not going to have Get off me, Sal! Really? Really? I'm sorry, man. Sorry. Oh, God. I haven't been to the grocery, so I don't have any of that sugary hazelnut creamer you like. Well, but that's fine. This will have to do. All right, do you want to be Hawaii or Space Princess? Hawaii, please. Oh, okay, you tell me what's going on with you. Well, I mean, since you asked, I saw Bo at the store. Okay, and? Well, he was adulting. I mean, he was grocery shopping, and he just, he just, he seemed better. And what am I supposed to, to say to that? I mean, really? I don't know, Case, I'm sorry. I, I think that he's changed, or, or maybe he's changing. Mm -hmm. But there's just something really different. You don't honestly think I'm gonna fall for that crap, do you? You know, how, you of all people know how good he is at turning on the charm and tricking everyone into thinking he's doing okay. I, I mean, no, no, I'm not saying you're gonna fall for it, girl. You know I know, but just hear me out here. I, I think that if you saw him, that you would see it too. He shared something with me. He shared that he's been going to AA. <laughs> and that he's 30 days sober. Yeah, there's I no, mean, there's no way. He would always laugh at those places and you know what he would say. I mean, I'm, there's no way. I know, I knew we all heard him say it over and over again. But I just want you to consider the fact that he is changing, and I saw it. And he wanted me to give you something. He kept it real safe right here next to my heart. Wow. In your bra, of course. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but this is serious. All right, let me see. This is a coin from his first meeting. It means everything. One month. Maybe to prove it to you? Why don't you give him a call? I've been looking all over town for you. It's the last place I checked. I'm really hoping I wouldn't find you here. I'm sorry, Sal. You know I didn't mean any of that. You know that, right? It's just hard, man. I... I've been sitting here and I been thinking. Well, that could be a good thing, or that could be a bad thing. But if you're mixing it with that fella right there, it's bound to be a bad thing. What if I can't win? What if I can't fight anymore? I mean, what if this is the only thing I'm good for? Ma'am, I get two waters. Listen, Bo, this is the easy way out. This here, giving up when life gets tough, the path of least resistance. But it's certainly not the path to getting your Casey back. 
or your two kids. You just can't give up when times get tough. I know, Sal. And I hear you, I do. And you know how hard I've been trying. I just, I don't know anymore, man. Look, bud, you're gonna have to figure out which bow you're gonna be. You gonna be this here bow? Angry, old, bitter, drunk? Drinking yourself to death at this bar? Or are you gonna be a man that realizes there's actually stuff in life worth caring about, worth fighting for? And only you can decide. Yeah, I know. And I will, I just... Darn straight you will. I'm talking right now, Bo. Make up your mind. Look it. You can stay right here at this bar. I'll leave you be. You won't see or hear from me ever again if that's the way you want it. Or you can man up and fight. Really stand up for what matters most to you. As tough as it gets, you gotta choose, Bo. You can't do both. You certainly can't be both. Only you can decide. So you gotta figure it out, what's worth fighting for. back with Sports Talk 900 AM. The big story of the day, Bo Lawson blows it. He had a shot at a second championship, and frankly, it just looked like he gave up. Morning, sunshine. You ready to get going? Oh, man, something smells good. I mean, you cooking me breakfast. Oh, this here? This is for me. But you think I was gonna give you this four days before bout? Come on, get real. All right, well, you said, uh, let's get going. Where are we going, to the gym? Well, we're gonna get some work in, but we're not going to the gym. I'm bringing you to church. Come on, Sal, you know I don't do church. And I haven't been to church since I was a kid. And the last time I went to church, mom took me and my brother, we got back that night, and dad laid into us hard. I knew right then and there that going to church meant all that, then I didn't want any part of it, so. Sorry, Sal, I don't do the church thing. It's okay, Bo. I'll tell you what, I'll go with you. It's gonna be part of our training. Like uh, the final countdown before the big match. What am I gonna wear? Clothes I slept in? I mean, I don't have any good clothes. I don't have a suit or you know, anything good to wear. I don't show up looking like the town drunk. You're not the town drunk. Not anymore, Bo. And you can wear whatever you got as far as clothes on your back. Because it doesn't matter, not at my church. You go just like that. Because the people there, they don't, they don't care about all that. You're sure, I, I don't want to go looking like this. I feel like an idiot. Oh yeah, looking like an idiot, huh? Come on. <laughs> yeah, good point. <laughs> Heck, you got on. Listen, we're going to church. You, me, it's gonna be fine. Heal me, Lord. My heart is sick. You didn't come for the way. Let me introduce you to the pastor. Hey, Tyler. 
<laughs> good, good. I'll we'll introduce you to my friend. Yeah. Bo Lawson. Bo Lawson. Hey, nice hey, to meet you. I know this guy. He's got a big fight coming up, right? My heart's not well. I am lost in my Depends on the day. <laughs> hey, nice meeting you. Let me yeah. take this real quick. Hey, Casey. No, yeah, no, I, I can I can meet. Text you on my way. So here I am broken. Hey, how are you all this afternoon? Good. Is this the first date? No. No, not exactly. <laughs> um, okay, well, what can I get for you guys? Uh, I'll have the chicken ranch pizza and a Coke, please. Okay. You know what? That sounds good. Okay, mm -hmm. I'll be right Same back. Thing. Thank Thanks. you. I really think you ought to be eating pizza a couple days before <laughs> I don't see Sal here, so <laughs> I think I'll be fine, as long as you don't tell. <laughs> You look good. Here's your drinks. Thanks. And your pizza will be right out. Thank, Thank you. you. So, you know, how are the kids doing? I mean, I've been seeing them a little more here lately, but man, I miss those guys like crazy. <laughs> Wish I could see them a little more. Good. Yeah. I mean, you know, Luke, he's always such a little daredevil, and Shannon is doing really well in school. I miss you. I... I mean, they're always asking about you. When can we see Daddy again? Even just after you've dropped them off. Casey, look, I just have to say this up front. I know you don't like my apologies. Because they don't mean anything to you. Not anymore, not after everything that I've done. I own my mistakes. And I really am starting to see how you know, all these things that I've let take over my life, that the drinking and the partying and God, all my anger issues. All those things have slowly been killing me. And it has put a lot of stress in between the two of us. And I know it's been killing you too. And I don't want to do that to us anymore. I love you, Casey. I've always loved you. I don't want to think about what my life would be like without you and the kids. In these last couple of months, I've had to live that life, and I can tell you right now, I don't want it. I have been an absolute jerk to you <laughs> and a horrible husband. But I just want the chance for us to try again. Well, I... I don't... I don't know. I... Casey, I know I've hurt you, and I'm so sorry. If I could take it back, I would, but I can't. The only thing that I can tell you is that I promise that I will change going forward. I want you to come back home. But hey, whatever you decide, I want you to know right now that I will never go back to the way I was. I'm really doing things different, Casey. I realize that this seems just like the time before, and probably the time before that and the time before that, but I really am changing. I'm doing things different now. I'm working really hard on myself. And I'm not talking about just in the gym and working out on the outside. I'm talking about on the inside, too. It's good. Hey, are you 
bolas. Yeah. What's up, buddy? Can I take a picture with you? Well, sure. You want to take our picture? Yeah, yeah. All right, come here. Get your fists up. Look mean. <laughs> and I want you to say, beat Dylan right. Beat Dylan right. All right. You look mean. You're good. All right, there you go, buddy. All right. <laughs> that cute kid. <laughs> I'm sure you've been hearing a lot about this fight coming up. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty crazy. But it's pretty nice of Dylan to do it, too. You know, y'all fighting and boxing is really starting to feel like the old days. Well, I'm not the bow that you used to know. I'm, I still make mistakes and I still mess up. And God knows I'm only showing you how low I can go, but I really want to show you, you know, how I can pick myself up and do things right. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, here's your pizza. Thank you. Oh, thank You're you. You're welcome. <laughs> you know, uh, Dylan's gonna give me $5,000 to do this fight. Yeah, I don't even have to win. I can lose. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm gonna try my hardest, but we both know us two old dudes aren't 18 anymore either. <laughs> yeah, <you can> say <laughs> that All right, that. settle down. I mean, it's not that funny. <laughs> I mean, you know you're the same age, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Casey. I would love it if you showed up at the fight. It would mean the world to me. Just, just think about it. Mr. Rock, what has helped you all these years? And after living the big city life, what would bring you back to your old hometown? Well, listen, I love this place. I always have. You know, this is where it all started for me, just down the street in Sal's gym. And you guys, you've put up with my crazy high school antics, and you've followed my whole boxing career. I just felt like the least I could do was come back home and say thank you. Mr. Lawson, you've been out of the picture for quite some time. What did it take to get you back in the boxing ring? What made you want to get your boxing gloves back on and face off over here with Mr. Wright? <laughs> well, I can tell you the money sure helped. <laughs> now, I want to I want to give props to this guy right here for, you know, giving back to the community and, you know, me personally. Um, just want to say thank you for that. But I also want to make myself clear, come tomorrow night, I'm still going to try to mess up that pretty little face. <laughs> Um, now, all jokes aside, this guy right here, my trainer, Sal, he's a great trainer, I mean, but he's an even better man. And uh, he's been pushing me hard, not just in the gym, but, you know, in life, too. You know, for me, it's uh, showing up even when I don't really want to. You know, it's not giving up and not feeling sorry for myself. Plus, I want to show this town and my family and even the haters out there that I've still got some gas in this tank. And uh, I, th I think I can do this. Plus, I want to prove to my wife and my kids that their dad still remembers what it is it's worth fighting for. Mr. Wright, Mr. Wright, do you feel like this is an even matchup? Are you excited to be facing your old high school rival at the event tomorrow? Absolutely. You know, I'm just really excited to be here. I really look forward to helping the town take some positive steps forward. And, um, you know, I can't wait to see what old Bo has planned for me tomorrow. I can guarantee you one thing. It's gonna be a good time.
Mwah, I missed you. Hey, sweetie. Oh, go on inside. I'll be right there, okay? Just gonna talk to your daddy. Take off your shoes. Hey. 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 How, uh, how were they? Were they good for you? Our kids? Are they ever bad? <laughs> uh, sometimes. Yeah. No, they were good. We had a great time last night. You know how they were begging me to get ice cream? Yeah. Well, I finally caved. And I took them, and it was a little on the late side, but... <laughs> yeah. And then we went back and watched one of their movies, which... Kind of boring, but, you know, they were excited about it. Probably because they were hopped up on sugar. <laughs> Probably. All right, well, thanks for being oh, in the back. Hey, hold on a minute. I got something for you. What is this? What did you do? Well, come on, Casey. I didn't do anything. It's not like that. I mean, can a guy get his favorite girl some flowers? Yeah, sure, but since when do you do the grand gesture gentleman thing? I mean, this isn't you, so why, really? I know, Casey, but I mean, believe me or not, I am trying here. I had to stop and get gas in the truck on the way over, and, you know, these were sitting on the counter for sale, and I don't know. I just thought, who would want something like this? No. Who deserves something like this? <laughs> huh. Oh, perfect timing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, it is perfect. <laughs> kind of reminds me of uh, when we were kids. <laughs> Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> I mean, they are. They are lovely. Yeah, well. I just, you know, Bo, I don't. Hey, you don't have to say anything. I'm just trying to be nice. Hey. I know that I've said a lot of things, and I've done a lot of things. I've made a lot of promises to you over the years that really hasn't meant anything up until this point. So now I need to show you that I'm changing. Ball's in your court, Casey. You realize that, right? What do you want? I mean, what do you want? I can tell you what I want. I want you to want to give me another chance. It's up to you, Casey. I just... I want you to give me a chance so I can show you that I'm doing things different. out there you've come a long way you've learned to fight for what matters man great pep talk there Sal what do you expect me to lose or what look bud I'm proud of you now I know this isn't the pep talk that maybe you were expecting or that you're used to but I've been praying for you for quite some time I think it's about time I pray with you. I'll tell you, bud, when, when I was overseas, when times got tough, lots of uncertainty, you know, we, we were wondering who or what we'd encounter for days or weeks. I'd always hold my hopes up high, knowing that I could turn to God. Because, see, God would know what today holds and what tomorrow holds as well. What I'm trying to say is, no matter what happens out there, you can still be at peace with what you got going on in your life. So, I know it might seem a little weird, but will you pray with me, Bo? Sure, but I don't know how to pray. Look, man, you didn't know how to box before you met me. Don't you worry about it. I'll pray for you. 
Dear God, we thank you for this man, for the life of Bo and the man that he has become today. We thank you for your guidance, Lord, and your strength, and for watching over Bo with all the big things and small. We thank you for your love for Bo and for fighting for Bo. We thank you for your strength and we, we, we ask for your guidance tonight and your strength and for Bo to remember all his training. But more than anything, to remember what's worth fighting for in life. And by the way, God, we wouldn't be mad at you if Bo won tonight. Amen. Amen. Hey. You've come a long way. Go show this town who Bo Lawson is. You got it. Hey, Sal. Can you do me a favor? Can you check my phone? What, you got a hot date or something? Yeah, I asked Casey to come. Look, Bo, now it's really good that you're thinking that, but... You know, Time to head out, guys. You ready? Let's do this. And folks, nobody thought we would be here. Middle of round four, Lawson still on his feet. Both fighters trading jabs and rights on the attack. He's pushing Lawson back, landing blows. Lawson returns, and oh, a big shot by Wright. That shook Lawson up, and Wright's on the attack. He's got him oh, in the oh, corner. Work that He's jab. landing left. Work that right jab. Fucking move. Move. The move by Lawson gets out of the corner, and Lawson's on the attack. Lefts and rights to the head of Wright. Folks, I cannot believe that Lawson is still in this fight. Wright lands a couple of shots, and Lawson's still returning. Folks, this is a testament to South Burton's training that Bo Lawson can go 10 years without a competitive fight, and here he is going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the world champion. Doing a huge right from the champ, you just can't deny the toughness of Bo Lawson. He's still in this fight. Folks, four rounds in, and there is still not a clear winner. Unless something big happens, this one could be going to the cards. Both fighters still hanging in, sizing each other up. on the attack in the closing seconds of round four. I can't believe I'm saying it, that Bo Lawson has made it this far. No one expected this out of him. Two jabs and a combo by Lawson. Both fighters seem to still have a plenty of game. Coming into the final seconds of round four, Lawson is down on points. He needs a big finish to stay in this fight, and he's on the attack. Hard body shots by Lawson force the champ into the corner. And it's a flurry of shots by Lawson. Wright can only hope for the bell. And it's a huge hook by Lawson, and the champ is down. The champ is down. Referee Eddie Plummer tries to get Lawson in the corner. I can't believe what I just saw. Trainer Sal Burton has got to be proud of the performance this once promising fighter is putting on tonight. Wright is back on his feet with relative ease, and Lawson goes right back on the attack. Wright is saved by the bell. He has got to be happy walking back to his corner. Folks, I don't know what would have happened to the champ if that round had gone on any longer. Hey, you don't need that. Dude, take that iron. You can do all your sitting you want tomorrow. How you feeling? You got one more round. You gotta dig deep, Bo. What? Hey, she's not here, man. Casey's not here. Listen, you gotta focus, Bo. Look over there. Dylan can't even believe you're still standing. One more round. You fought too hard to quit now, all right? You gotta keep the left up, you gotta keep the jab, you gotta keep working. Work on the footwork, watch his right. He's coming across with that right. You gotta protect. One more round. You can do this. You got it, you got it. Now go get him, come on. 
And with that, we begin the fifth and final round. Who would have believed Bo Lawson would go five rounds with the champion of the world? You gotta believe Wright wants to put this one away. He does not want this one to go to the cards. Be looking for Wright to go for the knockdown. Both fighters trading shots in the middle of the ring. The champ has to do something here, and he lands a big shot. And here he comes. This is the Dylan Wright we all expected tonight. Only you can decide. So you gotta figure it out. What's worth fighting for? I just cannot believe what I am seeing. Bo Lawson just took Dylan Wright's best shot, and he's back on his feet. Referee Eddie Plummer checks Lawson's gloves and gives him the go-ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight isn't over yet. Lawson has to make a push here if he wants a chance at a victory. In the closing seconds of the fight, Lawson is making his move, landing blow after blow. A series of unanswered shots by Lawson. The champ doesn't seem to know what hit him. All he can do is protect. Lawson is landing punches at will. Lefts and rights back the champ into the corner. He's got him on the ropes. Lawson is really giving Wright some punishment now. Can Wright stay on his feet? It's all Lawson in the final seconds of the fight. And there's the bell. Could it be too little, too late from Bo Lawson? Folks, I have no idea how the judges are going to score this one. We're going to have to wait on the deliberation. Both fighters are in their corners, and both sides have to be proud of their fighters tonight. Referee Eddie Plummer makes his way to the judges. Folks, this has been a fight to remember. Lawson gave us a glimpse tonight of what could have been. It was great to see him back in the ring as no one expected this to go the distance. As Plummer gets the scores, we'll turn it over to Chuck Gibson in the middle of the ring with the call. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a split decision tonight. Your still undefeated champion, the winner of tonight's bout, Dylan Wright. You poured your heart and soul into this, Bo Lawson. So proud of you. Keep remembering what you're fighting for. Take one step forward Seems like I fall two steps back Every time I get my wheels moving Feels like they're coming off the tracks There are times where I'd be lying If I said I did it all right No regrets, never say die Gonna give it all in this fight sound of a battle drum my pain is my survival won't back down from what's to come there are times where i'd be lying if i said i did it all right 